Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down the brand new trailer that has just dropped for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There's a bunch of brand new information and new Pokemon that have been announced. So we're going to go over all the details today, get ourselves familiar with everything, take a quick look at the trailer to start us off, and then we'll jump over to this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website and take a deeper dive to understand everything about all these new details in the run up to these brand new titles that will be dropping very soon. Okay, so we're going to kick off with the trailer. We get this nice little sketch here of the Paldea region, the kind of main city. And we get a few shots around the Paldea region. Firstly, talking about the treasure hunt here, which is one of the stories, one of three stories within the games. And we get a glimpse at three new Pokemon as well, as we'll get further information as we go deeper into this. So we're just getting the clips now as we get a bit more information initially of Starfall Street, which is kind of the rebellious students of the school that you're at and it is their kind of hideout. So we're finding a bit more about this part of the story. Uh, these school students that are troublemakers have their own hideout and I'm guessing that you're gonna have to go up against them and uh, complete certain things in the game. We do get introduced to their leader, which is Mila or Mela. I don't know how I'm pronouncing it, but um, she reveals herself on the big kind of car, which we suspect is part of like a racing th like aspect of the games as well and you can see she's battling on top of that so this is belongs to the the starfall street gang i should say then we move on to the path of legends which is kind of you know another part of the story line we've already been introduced to arvin uh, who's one of the kind of protagonists in the story and then we get introduced to this yet again another new crab pokemon which is um cloth i think it's called uh, which is pretty cool uh, I do like the look of it, it's design's cool. Another crab Pokemon, I don't know. Uh, if you're into crabs, then yeah, that's cool. But it is gonna be a Titan Pokemon, which is interesting because then you've got the smaller versions and then I guess you have to go up against that. It's a bit like Alphas from Pokemon Legends Arceus, I get all kind of the rage Pokemon. And then we have the third part, the Victory Road. We get introduced to Gita here, which is the the chairman of the, or the chairwoman of the, the league and uh, reminded that Nimona is part of the, the league and guiding you through the gyms as well. So we do get a little glimpse at a gym test. So we're gonna be like things to do, I'd imagine before you can start taking on the gym leaders or at least it's hinting at that as well before we get introduced to Bracius, uh, the new grass type gym leader who uses Smolov. And uh, we get a little glimpse of the gym battle here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see that these were, you know, the, the rumors of these images were thought to be gym leader or gym battle areas. So it kind of confirms that now. They do confirm as well that the gym leaders are gonna use the terrestrial uh, transformation on their Pokemon. So that's gonna be something that we'll see from very early on. You can see that the Quaxley's quite low level here and the pseudo are turning into a, a grass type. I will just backtrack a little bit because I would like to just see this move here. Uh, Trailblaze is a new move that we haven't seen before. So uh, I don't think there's any information on this actual attack on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website. Not that I've seen anyway. So uh, just to note here that that is a new attack, whether or not that is linked to the the signature Terrastro uh, move that every Pokemon can get, I don't know, uh, but we'll find out hopefully soon enough. But then those are the three aspects that we get. Um, and then we see a few more clips around the Paldea region and uh, kind of just hinting that you can go anywhere you want uh, anytime you want and kind of playing on the the whole open world aspect of these games we've got a few more uh clips of some pokemon and then we get these these Giver looking like pokemon announced as well which is cool we saw them at the very start uh, get a glimpse of those we'll get a bit more information about these when we we'll hop over to the website and then we get a few more clips of the gym leaders and other pokemon uh the terraforms of the starters once again and uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this trailer, I think. Yeah, that is all. And uh, confirming it is going to be released on the 18th of November. Okay, now what we'll do is take a quick look over on the Pokemon Skull and Violet website here. And it has got all the information that was released in these trailers here. You can see that this is the update, the 7th of September. Let's go, a handy feature for exploring the Paldea region. So we'll take a bit of a deeper dive into everything that we went through in the trailer. Uh, you can have one Pokemon out and walking with you in the Paldea region's great outdoors. So that's confirming that you're gonna be able to have a partner Pokemon follow you around like we've had in previous 
games. When you have a Pokemon exploring with you in the field, you can use the Let's Go feature. So kind of hinting at Let's Go games uh, to send that Pokemon off into the direction you indicate. The Pokemon that you send uh, then independently picks up items in the area and even has auto battles with nearby Pokemon, which is pretty cool, right? Nearby battles, picking up items for you. It's it's a nice little feature. What are auto battles? Auto battles are a new way of battling that can be activated by using the Let's Go feature. Doing so will send out your Pokemon to battle wild Pokemon without needing orders from its trainer. Your Pokemon can be sent into an auto battle against any wild Pokemon you see on the field. And it can even find Pokemon to engage in auto battles on its own, which is interesting when your pokemon is out and engaging in auto battles you can do what you want stay by its side to watch over it or try looking for items nearby by defeating wild pokemon in auto battles your pokemon can also earn items and experience points master using this new feature to explore every nook and cranny of the vast paldea region of your pokemon so this is kind of cool we get some screenshots of it here uh, of the the let's go feature uh, finding items and then a few more here of, of the, the battling for the Let's Go feature as well. So it's it's a cool new feature, I feel. And I guess it opens up a lot more opportunities for you to kind of find items, not miss things when you're traveling around the region. So that is that. I don't think there's anything more in regards to this. We'll just check on the home uh, story woven your own way. So this is the other things that we've got here as well. Uh, your own story woven through your treasure hunt. So the treasure hunt gonna be maybe the big part of the story because there is three parts, right? And the treasure hunt is one of them. The school that you're, you've enrolled in hosts a special independent study project. The theme of this assignment is a treasure hunt, explore the world and seek out your very own treasure. Three stories will be woving into your adventure while tra traversing the sprawling Paldea region. Along Victory Road, you will go through gyms in different locations in order to achieve champion rank. On the Path of Legends, you can join Arvin in search of rare ingredients and in Star Fall Street, you challenge Team Star, a group of delinquents causing trouble for your school. So I'm guessing they're kind of gonna be maybe the bad guy team if there is a bad guy team in this game um or it seems like that at the minute these stories are set in an open world the way you go is all up to you a world teeming with pokemon and people to meet is waiting for you traverse the paldea region whenever your heart desires so i'm guessing that there's three kind of story modes but they all probably mold into one and kind of come together or at least that's how i would kind of depict them too at the end um but we'll we'll see i guess victory road your path to champion rank. There are eight Pokemon gyms, which is good, in different locations throughout Paldea, uh, all managed by the Pokemon League. If a trainer makes their way to the gyms, defeats all the gym leaders, and then passes the champion assessment at the Pokemon League headquarters, they can earn the coveted champion rank. After accepting Nimona's suggestion to become a champion rank trainer, you will too be able to visit the eight Pokemon gyms scattered across the region. So I'll kind of just confirm that will be eight gyms, no more, no less, and it's kind of like normal Pokemon games where you're going to have to go around and challenge them, beat them. And then I guess there's going to be an assessment, which is probably a, a line of battles at the end of it to get that, that master rank. The first trial of the gyms, the gym test, like we mentioned in the, the trailer there, that looks like there's going to be tests before you can actually take on the gym leaders. Uh, at the Pokemon gym, you must first pass a gym test before you'll be allowed to challenge the gym leader. The contests of these gym tests are unique to each gym, but through them, you might come to learn more about the customs and unique features of each city and town, as well as what kind of people uh, the gym leaders are. So you get a couple of clips there, and uh, there's the Sunflora clip that we saw from the um, the trailer. Uh, so that's going to be for the grass type gym. Miss Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League. Gita is the chairwoman of the Pokemon League, which operates Paldea's Pokemon gyms. Among the region's champions, she reigns supreme as the most skilled trainer of all. Though mild-mannered, Gita still has a commanding presence, and it's said that anyone who calls themselves a Pokemon trainer looks 
up to her. It appears that she is looking for exceptional young talent capable of conquering the Pokemon League. So we get a bit of a better picture of her um, and she's going to be the, the chairwoman of the, the League, which is cool. Cool looking character as well. Um, and I guess, yeah, there's not really much else known about her. We do get to see and meet another gym leader though, Brasius or Brasius. I don't know how we're pronouncing that one. Gym leader of the Artisan Gym. Brasius is the gym leader of the Artisan, a town that's alive with flowers and art. Gym leader Brasius treats Pokemon battles as works of art and is always in search of artistic quality, using his gym test to help judge a trainer's aesthetic sensibilities. Peace de la Resistance, Surrendering Sunflora is a statue installation depicting adorable Sunflora with somber expressions. Just what the Sunflora are surrendering to is the topic of debate among connoisseurs. Okay, so there's like, there's a bit of law going on here. A cool looking chip leader though with his whip, uh, which is, I guess, like a vine whip for a grass tripe trainer of some sort but yeah so we get a little sneak peek at one of the other gym leaders and then search for herba mystica on the path of legends and we get the new crab looking pokemon here some cool artwork uh arvin's research into healthy recipes for pokemon has led him to seek out rare ingredients called herba mystica which are said to immediately restore health once eating herba mystica are extremely rare herbs that can only be found in paldea they are guarded by titan pokemon which are bigger and stronger than ordinary pokemon so a lot like alpha pokemon and the totem pokemon i guess from uh, sun and moon making these rare herbs even more difficult to obtain what's more a number of these titan pokemon have already been sighted in the region since arvin isn't good at pokemon battles he'll be asking you to help him out and will even offer to treat you to some of his handmade dish dishes if the two of you succeed in obtaining these rare herbs drive back tough opponents and gather Herba Mystica together with Arvin. So that's going to be one of the quests taking on, I guess, a bunch of Titan Pokemon from the in and around the region that you're going to have to do. And then once you beat them, you get these this this magic herb, Herba Mystica, uh, that you'll be able to use for different recipes and things to do around the region. And then we kind of have the, the final bit, the face off against the school's troublemakers in Starfall Street. Uh, Starfall Team Star uh, was formed by the school's most rebellious students and has made up of several squads each squad is led by its own boss so i'm guessing we only met one of them you know mila unless mila is the overriding boss of like all the different squads each with their own base scattered across the paldea region these class cutting delinquents cause trouble for all those around them so yeah kind of indicating that these are going to be the the bad guy team of uh scarlet and violet giving the academy students and teachers a hard time by disturbing the peace and using pushy recruitment tactics march up to their bases and face off against a troublemaking team star wouldn't it be cool in the these games if this was the first time that you could join the bad guy team and become a member of team star to complete your story i don't know if that's going to be the case but that'd be kind of cool um and then we get a bit more information about team star who they are make your way into team star's bases to take down their bosses when you go to take on each squad's base team star's many grunts will send out their relentless barrage of pokemon to get in your way by defeating enough of the grunts pokemon within a given time limit you'll be able to challenge their boss to a battle engage in auto battles a convenient battle feature that's new to these titles to overcome the unending barrage of team star's grunts and their pokemon note the uniforms worn by the members of team star will differ depending on the version of the game you play so that's kind of cool so depending on the version you're going to get different uh, a tier or uh, the the different grunts in each team take on the bosses riding their star mobiles so this is a star mobile and this is what all of the uh, the bosses for team star will ride which is kind of cool to be confirmed so there'll be a bunch of those around the region i wonder if we'll be able to kind of get one for ourselves and ride around paldea uh, once you defeat them all who knows once you overcome the waves of team stars grunts the boss will appear to custom car called starmobile it seems that during the pokemon battles these bosses the starmobile itself will get in your way take down each squad's boss by defeating their party pokemon or starmobiles the thing is, the Starmobile felt and looked a little bit like it could have been a Pokemon. 
Now, I might sound crazy saying this, but it did look like it was a bit more than just a normal vehicle. It did look like it moved a little bit in the trailer. I don't know. I might be just overthinking this. Tell me, let me know what you think. Mela or Mila, uh, boss of the Shader Squad, aka Team Stars Fire Crew. Mila is the boss of Team Stars Fire Crew. The Shader Squad as the team's best all rounder. Mila fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Through her methods are heavy handed, she leaves a forceful and gruff impression but her steadfast devotion to completing anything she puts in mind to has earned her the trust of her teammates not the uniforms worn uh, okay they will differ depending on version that you've got and there we go there's a bit more information on Mila and that is everything that we got from the trailer the breakdown and stuff like that uh, some interesting information but we got introduced to a bunch more characters and a little bit more insight into uh, the story and how things are going to play out in these games the next thing to cover is the Pokemon themselves now the newest Pokemon that we've got uh, out of all of them will start with Cloth the Crab which is going to be like represented in the the trailer as one of the Titan Pokemon obviously there's only one Titan. The other ones were a lot smaller, which are going to be like a bit normal, but uh, a Pokemon with powerful claws. So yeah, you can Im imagine it's going to be a rock type Pokemon, which is interesting. Um, you would have always assumed it was a, a water type being a crab, but it makes sense for the terrain that it was kind of found in in the trailer. Uh, it's got a anger shell and shell armor ability. Anger shell's a new ability on this Pokemon. You get some more information about it here. Spinning eyes that leave no blind spots. Cloth can rotate its protruding eyeballs to see everything around it, eliminating all blind spots that latches upside down into cliffs uh, to ambush his prey from above. However, Cloth eventually gets dizzy from the blood rushing to its head, so it can't stay upside down for too long. Claws that are both strong and dexterous. Cloth's claws, that's a mouthful, can hold onto things very tightly, not letting prey go once it's in its grasp. It uses one claw to hold its opponent in place while using the other to break its guard and hit it where it hurts. Even if a cloth loses a claw in battle or el elsewhere, it will grow back after a while. In certain parts of the Paldea region, cloth claws are considered a valuable cooking ingredient, okay? Here's a bit more information about the Anger Shell ability. So this is a brand new ability to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Cloth's Anger Shell ability is making its first appearance in Pokemon series. When Cloth's HP drops to half uh, health or less, the Pokemon gets angry. It, uh, this lowers its defense and special defense stat, but boosts its attack and special attack and speed stat by what appears to be one stage. So you can see here um, the Wild Cloth's attack rolls, special attack rolls and speed rolls. If it was to raise by two stats it would say drastically rose uh, so unless they've changed the kind of mechanics of how they word things in the game then you can assume that all these stats that are boosted at uh, 50% or less health uh, are going to be by one stage and the drops are going to be by one stage as well. So interesting ability, very cool. I do like it and I do like that it's a rock type as well. Not a big fan of another crab Pokemon. Uh, I would say Krabby and Kingler are the kings, but Cloth might be very cool. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a unique Pokemon anyway for the new region. Then we'll get on to the more interesting new Pokemon, which... I feel like I did not expect any Pokemon to ever look like this. Uh, Armor Rouge is the, the first one, or Armor Rogue. I don't know how we're pronouncing this yet. Again, I'll keep saying this continually till I get official confirmation on this. Uh, you'll be able to encounter Armor Rouge in Pokemon Scarlet. I'm saying Rouge because of Scarlet and the kind of color. Uh, similar similarities there so that's what we're going with here fire armor pokemon it's fire and psychic so a cool type in unique type in and it has the ability flash fire you can see a bit more about it its armor is the source of its psychic power armor rouge's set of armor belonged to the distinguished warrior and its source of energy used for its psychic type moves it also uses the psychic capabilities of its armor to control the fire energy within its body to unleash attacks armor believed in its fair fight and will always challenge your opponent head on no matter how much stronger that opponent is it specializes in using its sturdy armor to bolster its defenses and take down enemies with its high firepower it's a very cool looking pokemon like let me know what you think about it down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on this one in particular because it is definitely one of my favorite 
we've had revealed so far. A move Armor Rouge can learn, an Armor Cannon, a brand new move that we did get re revealed in the trailer. Armor Cannon is a fire type special move in which Armor Rouge's moves both of its pauldrons to its hands and puts its arms together to form a cannon, allowing it to shoot out its own armor out of its blazing projectiles. So kind of like a Kamehameha blast, I guess, is what it kind of sounds like. This is one of the most powerful moves that Armor Rouge can learn, but it lowers Armor Rouge's defense and special defense stats in exchange for that power. So a bit like a close combat sort of attack, uh, like we've seen on previous Pokemon lore and the uh, defenses of a Pokemon once it's used, but it seems like it's going to be very powerful. Fire type attack as well, and Omarouge definitely, like I say, one of my favorite Pokemon. I wonder if it'll be exclusive to uh, Pokemon Scarlet as well, and then in Pokemon Violet, you're going to get the other version of this, its counterpart, which is Cerulege. Um, and you'll be able to count this in Pokemon Scarlet, uh, Violet. So it does seem that these are going to be version exclusives. Fireblade Pokemon, again, this one is a Fire Ghost type, not Fire Psychic. Uh, it has the ability Flash Fire again. Its Flaming Great Swords absorb life energy. Serulege dons an old set of armor steeped in grudges and wields blades made of fire in the ghost energy. In battle, these blades transform into great swords to increase Serulege's power. Cuts from these great swords leave wounds from which life energy will flow willing to do anything to win Serilege prefers close quarters combat and isn't above using tactics such as sneak tactics to surprise attacks to win battle it uses its quick movements to capitalize on its opponent's blind spots and then closes distance to slash opponents open with large blades so kind of indicating there's probably going to be quite a fast pokemon and a heavy hitter as well might not have the defenses like the its counterpart does but it might be i mean like i'm i'm i love both of these pokemon they're really cool uh, a move serilege can learn is bitter blade so this is another signature move a new move for the games is a fire type physical move that gathers the lingering regrets of its fallen into serilege's swords uh, allowing it to focus that bitterness into slashing attacks the swords can then absorb life energy from wounds they made and the user's hp is restored by up to half of the damage taken so that's a cool move and interesting that it is more of a physical attacker than a special attacker as well and then we get some screenshots of it there so that is the brand new pokemon we've got armor rouge we've got serilege and then we have cloth as well so they're the three pokemon that kind of got revealed today there was a bunch of other stuff uh, obviously that we've covered in today's rundown uh, but all very exciting so i really do hope you enjoyed this synopsis here we've gone over all the information that's on the pokemon scarlet and violet website and we've went through a little bit of the trailer as well to, to have a look at these information so i'm gonna go through everything once again and probably do another video which will get up later in the week if there's anything that we've missed here and some more topics of interest that will be interesting if you've got anything that you spotted in the trailers today do leave me a comment down below and let me know because i'd love to address it in a future video video and I'll definitely highlight the comments when I do that for the next breakdown and uh, we, we're, we're in the run-up now friends we are in the run-up it's not too long we've got like two months until these games drop so we are in full-fledged trailer season we're going to get new information all the time now coming out about these games so stay tuned if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news make sure you hit the subscribe button and do if you have enjoyed today's video drop a like on the video it does really help out and it's been great being back after coming back from Worlds, after being on holiday and getting back into the thick of things with Skull and Violet stuff. So we'll be continuing to do more of this content in the run up to these games releasing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you as always for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next video. So until then, take care. Bye bye.